あとは僕に任せてくださいトルメントドンテスでしろブレイブソウルズ。This is your boy, the Deathmasher, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And today I am back again with yet another Max Transcended Character Showcase. And this time around, it is the Spirits Are Forever With You version of Uryu, which came out on Spirits Are Forever With You Round 1, which, by the way, is still ongoing as we speak. So, yeah, perfect time to pretty much showcase this character. So, um, yeah, shout outs to my boy Retsu for, you know, allowing me to make the character showcase without his help. The video would not have been possible, so thanks again, mate. But, anyways, alright, I did give this Uryu a crap ton of hate, and I'm not gonna lie, I do think that I did hate a bit too much on this character, but it's still justified because I still think that out of all the、uh, second generation of Link Slot Potion units, This guy is the worst. I'm sorry, but he technically is. But in terms of an SP based Link Slot Potion character, I want to say that he has more so the same flaws as Momo, where the kit is actually problematic. But、um, yeah, that being said, I have used this character a lot in co op, and not gonna lie, he wasn't as bad as I actually thought. But I do think that his SA1, in my opinion, still holds him back, because if he had Guard Break, The SA1 would have been a lot better to the point that he'd actually be able to kill off a lot more mobs. But you know, it is what it is. And now it's Max Transcended, so I'm expecting this character to be very good. But, anyways, his is Max Transcended with 500 SP on the extra stat boost slot. And just to basically give you guys a reminder of what he has, he is a Hollow Killer with Recharge on his、uh, Soul Trait. And in terms of his skills, he's got weakening on everything, which is pretty good. It still is one of the best status elements that we have in the game. 20% Bruiser, 20% Berserker. Oh, yeah, he is also T20 with full stamina, damage boost, and weakened defense. And、uh, yeah, he has 20% Bruiser, 20% Berserker, Devastation at 40%. He has the Link Saw Potion skill, Havoc at 20%, Frenzy plus one, Debilitator plus five seconds. He also has the increased status ailment chance against Speed Attribute Hollows, so basically, The same skill that the Machine Society Nemu has, and Sprinter Plus One in terms of the six star skills. No innate abilities, unfortunately, but it is what it is, and I hope that sooner or later we are going to be getting the third Tech Link Slot Potion character that surpasses this Uryu. So, anyways, we're going to be doing two builds on this character, being a full on Sun Kaisen build, and then the Hybrid Recharge slash Strong Attack Damage. So, <clears throat> roll me the Sun Kaisen build. Thank you very much. And here is what we gave him. We gave him a Pill, Cape Fastener, and a Quincy Cross, all with 30% SP. And the links are pretty much what you would expect from a s i n k a l m o n Eisen build. Triple s i n k a l m o n Eisens until the day we get another uh, tech uh, hybrid unit that has both strong attack damage and full stamina damage boost. So, with this, his、uh, Berserker is obviously going to be capped at 100%, while also having a full stamina damage boost increase of 85%. So, the damage is still going to be insane with this character, and it's about to be even more insane because he is max transcended. And guess what? We are also going to be bringing with us a Wetsu and this s i n k a m o n Ichigo. A Wetsu because obviously he can boost on his second Tron attack, so that is going to be very great for you know, increasing the DPS. And this in common Ichigo right here is going to be buffing this Uri right here just because he has the increased technique attribute human strong attack damage buff by 20%, giving Uri an overall 40% berserker. And you want to know how much SP this guy has right now? We're about to find out, boys. There we go 5,128 with a full in common e i s e n b e r g So, yeah, the damage numbers that we're going to be doing will be insane. So, without further ado, Let us go ahead and get started and run him in Inheritance Zone. Alright, here we are in IZ. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and showcase this character. I've already reviewed this character beforehand, so no need to go over the details. Okay, the SA1 did a good 7k and was able to one shot just fine. SA2 is still garbage. I'm sorry, 9,000 damage. What is that? SA3, though? There we go. That is what I'm talking about. 45,000. That is actually 
insane. Are there any more hollows so that way we can actually showcase the damage of the vortex? Uh, there should be. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 15k. That's actually not too terrible. I'm not gonna lie, but this is a Zenkaizen build, so it is to be expected. So now, let us go ahead and boost up with Oetsu. There we go. The SA1 is now gonna do 8k damage. Okay. SA2, 17k. Uh, could be kind of expected. Are there any... Yeah, okay, there we go. And there we go. 53k. So yeah, obviously the damage is just gonna be that much better when you're running him in terms of, you know, a full-on um, DPS-based type of build. So, great for Kaimon for when you're trying to tackle hard floors, and um, great for Yoquest if you even use this character in Yoquest, because I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot better characters to use. This man right here is only meant to be used in Inheritance Zone and nothing else, even if he is 5 out of 5. And all I'm gonna say is that there will be a better unit that is going to surpass this UD pretty easily because there's just better tech units over this character that it really doesn't take much for K-Lab to release us a better Technic Link Slot Potion character. It's just about giving him the right kit and making the character good. But uh, yeah, that being said, Max Transcendent with the Sinkaizen build, the damage numbers are actually a lot better than it was before, so I dig it. I don't mind it at all, but now the real test is going with the full hybrid recharge slash strong attack damage build to see how well he can hold his own with just being able to solo inheritance zone. So we are going to be running him in um, IZ solo co-op and just run him. So yeah, let's get to it, boys. Okay, so here we are back again in co-op inheritance zone and this is what we gave Uli. Uh, for the most part, the accessories are left untouched, but we have replaced the Quincy Cross for a Zeta Pill, since this type of IZ does have underground mobs, and we want to be able to clear this IZ as fast as possible. And the links this time are completely changed. We have a full on hybrid recharge slash strong attack damage build set up right here. We have a max transcended full bring Ichigo, which dishes out strong attack damage at 20% with 10% cooldown reduction, which by the way has 500 SP on the extra stat boost slot. We have this Stark right here, which gives out recharge time of minus 12% on the strong attacks, as well as a 16% strong attack damage increase. And unfortunately, he does not have Dark Rukia, but in her place, we can basically run a Max Transcended Flyzen, which has 500 SP on the extra stat boost slot to basically buff up his SP even further. And with this, you guys want to know how much SP he has right now? It's easily over 6,000. 6,189. So the damage numbers that we are going to be doing, even if we are missing that 20% Berserker, is still going to be good. And we even have Killer Effect on this type of IC since we have Soul Reapers and Hollow. So let's see how well this character will perform. I have positive vibes about this Uryu, so I know he's not going to disappoint me. So let's get into it, boys. All right, here we go. Let's get to it. Uh, let's start off with a nice vortex. I just hate how I just hate crawling vortexes as a whole because you need to position them and you can easily miss. But yeah, the damage numbers are actually quite good this time. Uh, 4K on the SA1. Keep in mind that it is a ranged collision into melee type of attack with 60% mag. So the damage numbers are going to be low, but it is going to kill some enemy mobs. And with the fact that it's max transcended, it's obviously going to do even better. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It did not even kill that mob. So, yeah, unfortunately, the problem still stays that it's not going to kill all the mobs. That is the one thing I really hate about this SA1, and it's just not as good as the 40% uh, mag shave attack, and it's not as great as, per se, Dark Rukia or the uh, Arena Grimjow's first strong attack where it's 60% mag at all times. So, yeah, SA2, AK, I mean... What were you guys expecting? High numbers? <laughs> oh my god, bro. And we won't be able to see the damage with the SA. Oh wait, we can. But I think we killed that one hollow. I don't know, man. Yeah, the SA1 at least does good damage against uh, enemy mobs and bosses. It's just against enemies that have range guard that is actually going to be still problematic to this day. And SA3... 28k, okay. Yeah, the damage numbers is obviously gonna be a lot better now, so. Yeah, this character is now a lot more fun 
to play as. Now, if you guys want my immediate verdict about this character, I'll get straightforward. Um, I do not recommend 5 out of 5-ing this character, unless you are a massive Udi fan. That is the only reason to it, because at the end of the day, K-Lab has pretty much proven to us that they can still make more Link Saw Potion characters, and White Day Grimjow is a very good example just because of the fact that he has a better kit than Retsu and has a higher Berserker than Retsu. The only thing that he lacks is basically Killer compared to Retsu. So, what I'm trying to say is, it's only a matter of time until we get another unit that is a tech character, gives out the Link Slot Potion skill, and is just a lot better than Udi. Like, it's only a matter of time. So, if you're trying to just overall look for a Link Slot Potion character just to max transcend, I'm gonna be honest, wait until we get a better Link Slot Potion character. It can happen, it's just a matter of time, basically. But, this character, once again, Max Transcended will prove to still be good. Like, I've done a lot of characters already that are filled with range collision that happen to be garbage, like <clears throat> Aura, <clears throat> and still happen to be very good upon getting Max Transcended. And this Uryu is pretty much the best that I've basically uh, showcased so far since it was stacked, had full stamina damage boost, the Cape Fastener, everything else that, you know, this character basically needed to be, uh, you know, great to use in IZ. But, um, yeah, that ends the showcase. Thanks again, Retsu, for allowing me to showcase the character. It was definitely a pleasure. So, uh, yeah. If you guys have actually enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. And there will be more showcases to come, so I hope you guys do look forward to that. This has been your boy, the Dash Masher, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, lads. Oh, 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 oh.